Hello and welcome to Daily Direction. We're back and we are on the final tutorial. Yay, we've made it. We've done it. I hope you've learned some really nice things along the way. And we're going to finish off with a little bit more of a tricky one to do. And it's this really nice um, kind of text animation with like this arrow that transforms into the bar that goes over. So let's go into Webflow. Let's drop in a link block. We're going to call this text parent2. We're going to set the position to relative. We're going to draw up in some text. We're going to call this let's go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the text parent. Just want to put some. Uh, oh, we want to put the Velvet Curricular, we're going to change the colour to black, we're going to remove the text decoration, and we're going to bump it up a little bit. So what we're going to do with this is, we've got it on red, relative, which is great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drop in another div, we're going to call this Arrow Parent we're going to put this to absolute and then what we're going to do is we're going to set a width of 18 pixels set a height of 2 pixels we're going to set the background to black and then what we're going to do is we're just going to position this so we're going to move it over to this top right corner, now you can see it's here what we need to do is we just need to start playing around with this, so we're going to go 30 pixels to the left oh, no we're going to go 60 pixels so we've got it there let's just move this along a touch more let's bring that back great, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to do 10 pixels Make sure it's sitting nice in the middle. I may have to go back and forth between this example. So let's just have a look. Right, okay. Then what we need to do is inside of arrow parent, we're going to put another div inside. We're going to call this um, A1. One, because I've already got that class from another one. And we're going to give this a width of two pixels. We're going to give it a height of five pixels. Six, seven. Let's try seven. I'm gonna put a background color on it. We're gonna set this to absolute. We're gonna move it over here. Let's just have a little look. As you can see, we've got it in position. Let's make this a tiny bit bigger. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the transform. Not transform. We're gonna that that one. Transform. We're going to rotate one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just have a little look. Right, so now we need to do a little bit of tweaking. So we go minus one pixels. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go back to where we was. And we need to do this one. One pixel. Two. Cool. And then we want to bring this up minus one pixel. Yeah, this is about right, let's move it across one more. No, it needs to go back. It's quite fiddly this one, you have to get it right. So we've got that one, A1. And what we're going to do now is we're going to Apple C, Apple V. We're going to duplicate probably two, two. And then we want to just move this around. So we want to go minus. Uh, so let's let's just do this. So let's grab the second one first, and let's just change the rotate to minus. Right. So now we can see where that is, and then what we can do is we can start to position this. So uh, right, let's, you've got to put it on pixels and not percent quite important get that like that 
two pixels. Let's just have a look. Probably can come down, and there we go. We have that nice and positioned right. Let's just have a little look. You know, I'm just looking at the fine details here, making sure that it's all sitting right, which it looks like it is. And now we can get on to the animation part. So we want to set this as the part that animates. So the first thing that we need to do, so we need to go in, we need to do it as a hover. We need to go to 09 text roll over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the arrow parent. We're going to do a size. We're going to make sure that it is on the initial state. We're going to do a size, and then we need to remember the parameters of what that was originally on, which is 18 and 2. So let's go back to that. 18 and 2, 18 and 2. I always forget. With 18 and height is 2. So that's that. Then what we need to do is we need to do the size. We need to bring the width up to uh, 20 pixels. Let's just have a look. So what we're trying to do now is calculate the size of what we're going to need to cover that box. And then we're going to put a height on it of like, let's go with something like that. I feel like it needs to be longer now. So this one's quite fiddly. We have to just really focus on imagining how we're going to get to that next point. So here we've got that. Then what we need to do is a move. And we just do zero, zero to start off with. And then we go and move here. And then what we can do is start to position this. So we've got the position. The size is still not big enough. So let's just increase the size, have a look, no it still needs to be bigger, looks about right, let's just check that, right, okay, so we've got that on there, I think the height could be a touch bigger, oh, what happened there, I'm going the wrong way, let's make the height a touch bigger, and what we need to do now is we need to go back. We need to get this. Just need to put this on zero. The Z index on zero. So we need to make sure that this text is above this. What we could do is just put this on relative and then just put this on two. And that now will make sure that that text goes above that block when it starts to animate. And that's the really important part there. Making sure that you've got the correct Z indexes going on. So we've got that, got that, and then we animate in, and then what we need to do is we need to select the text. We're going to do a text color. We're going to start with white. No, we we'll start with black. Sorry. Go moving around. I hope it does that. Start with black. Thing. Oh my god! I'm having a moment here, uh, and then go to the text color, and we want it to be on white. Let's just make sure right now we can see we need to do some more moving around. So let's just bring this like that. Let's just bring this like that. And that is in a good position now. Let's just check this. Great. We want to select these, get them on an ease now, bring that speed up. Great. So what we need to do is if we just select these two elements, select the A11, we're doing an opacity, opacity here, get rid of it, ease, we want that, we want this to happen really quickly, we don't really want to see them fading away, they just got instantly snap and they're gone. And that's what we want to do, we select A22 which is the other side of the arrow, we want to set it to 100%, and then we want to do an opacity here again. We want to bring it down. Ease. Point one. Let's just check. Boom. Right, it feels a bit quick, so 
I'm just going to select all of the other ones. I'm just going to bring it up. Let's try it a bit slower. Yeah, that's nicer. And I think what we could do is we could probably just delay the text color just slightly, just slightly, because it feels like it's just. Let's have another look. Yeah, I think that works. Um, I think the size can generally come down. So I'm just going to. So what I'm doing here is I'm just tweaking. I'm just noticing little things. Doesn't size and the move needs to come down. Let's, right, yeah, it's better on a quicker one. I was just playing around trying to get it right. So now we've got that. We've got that all sorted. So what we need to do is we just need to do the roll out. And duplicate. And we want to go back to these. So I'm guessing we can delete all of these. Take these off. Put them on a 03. And we can select all of the other ones. So the color is the first one that we want to do. And the rest of these 0.2. Now just remember, obviously, with all of these timings and easings that I've been using, you know, you can play around with these, you can alter these, you can change these. I'm just kind of fiddling around to show you how I will tweak things as I go along, just so you can understand what we're doing. And there you go. That is how you create this really nice text rollover. Thank you ever so much for watching the daily direction tutorials. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have learned some really interesting things that can help you go forward and build more of these micro interactions. Obviously, I'm now going to be putting this project um, available for you guys to clone so you can go and check this out even further and build on what we've already done. Just to let you know, there's definitely going to be some more videos coming over back on the design direction and I've got something really interesting that I want to share with you guys and I look forward to seeing you all. Cheers. Bye.